Hey there YouTubers, right? So I get asked a lot of questions about uh, these two CPUs, the i7-10700 i7-10700K. 10 now, uh, what are those questions? People wanting to know, hey, I want to upgrade from, you know, such and such CPU. I want to, you know, which one's better? I want to know if this is better than Ryzen 7 3700X, 3800X, 3900X, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a lot of questions. Love the questions. Can't always answer them all, but we do try. Now, if you have something like an i7-9700F and you want to upgrade to that, I would probably tell you no. All right, if you have that and you want to upgrade to this, you know, I'd say, yeah, it's, it's not a bad upgrade. Um, you're going to, you know, obviously have a lot more fun with this, right? That K means I can overclock, right? So that can be a lot more fun. Now, if you're new to building computers and new to gaming, I might not even recommend either one of these for you because, you know, you're investing a lot of money into something that you may not enjoy. Uh, and if you're new to building, you may even screw some things up. These CPUs aren't cheap. There are definitely things you can do in a build and wreck them, all right? So um, this is not, you know, the level that uh, those that you are new to building should probably jump off at. Maybe, you know, one of these guys back here I wouldn't even suggest that, but you know, one of the other ones. Yeah. All right. So, uh, that said, you know, what are my experiences with it? You know, we do a lot of Fortnite gaming on a channel. I'm obviously not the best Fortniter, uh, not even close, but, uh, I do a lot of benchmarks videos for y'all since I have a lot of gear and, uh, have I noticed much difference between these? No, not really. Um, even with the overclocking, I haven't really noticed that much difference. And honestly, one of my best scores, uh, FPS-wise, was with this. Now, was it anomaly? Possibly. Um, but, you know, these are close enough that for those of you that, that need that $100 difference, basically, you know, you might want to look here. Or if you were, you know, thinking of, some people ask me, hey, should I get this and I want to get a B460? I'm like, why are you wasting your time? Get this and go with the b460 but yours truly only recommends z490s okay so we've we've had a few on the channel um and that's one behind us you why do you want to do that that's going to allow you to use better ram okay and uh the faster ram you know will amount to some performance gain all right plus that sets you up for future proofing these motherboards get used for 11th gen. You, uh, you know, have that ability to go all the way to the top of the 11th gen, all the way to the i9, uh, 11900K, right? So uh, that's why, personally, I recommend the Z490s. It's uh, a little more future-proofing, at least for the next uh, year, year and a half, whatever. All right, so, so gaming-wise, they're, you know, in some aspects, somewhat of a draw. And you can do more research on uh, on YouTube. Um, video editing, this guy is uh, going to outperform this one. And, you know, for other stuff that relies heavily on multi-core, uh, this is going to be the route to go. So for those of you that do other things, uh, it might be worth that $100 difference, all right? But, uh, yeah, definitely don't get this and get a B460, H410, or H470. Uh, you could consider it for this guy, but, uh, you know, you're selling yourself short, uh, by not getting a Z490. So which one do I recommend? Well, once again, it depends. Um, those of you that have the ability to tinker with stuff and, uh, you know, know what you're getting into and, and not necessarily have an unlimited budget, but have money to spend, this is probably the route you're going to go. Either one of these need a premium cooler. Do they need a premium cooler like this? No, this is the actually the i7-10700s under there. Um, do you need this awesome Noctua cooler that which I sometimes put a second CPU on or second CPU fan? No, you you really don't necessarily have to have something that good. A uh, Cooler Master EVO uh, or Hyper 212 will work. Does it work as good as that? No, but uh, it'll still work. Now this guy here, you definitely want something like that. Okay. I've got another one over here, and uh, you need to keep this guy cool, especially if you're going to start doing some overclocking. Otherwise, uh, when you go do your testing for it, uh, CPU tests, you're going to find that they, they're probably going to fail, or it's going to be unstable, or the temperatures are going to get pretty warm. So uh, 
Either one of these, you need to, to buy a premium fan. This guy, you probably need to spend significantly more than uh, what you would on that uh, fan. So, um, yeah, if you don't have a bunch of money, you go this route, you get a B460 and, uh, you know, still have great gaming. Uh, if you have that extra 50 bucks, get the Z490, spend more on your RAM. Now, budget's not a problem. Get this guy, definitely Z490. Consider 3600 megahertz and up RAM and uh, the premium cooler, and you'll be good to go. So, like I said, couldn't necessarily recommend one or the other to you. It all depends on your case, your financial situation, and your experience level. So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.